Hi guys, so today I am going to uh, show you how to model and analyze a bad eye in, uh, using ANSYS software. So this is a real-time bad eye of uh, Oxo structure where we are going to lift around uh, 1000 turns in each bad eye. So there are a lot of ways to analyze these bad eyes as you know but here today what i am going to demonstrate is the ansys modeling and the analysis of the bad eyes so let's start this uh, so this is the bad eye dimension and uh, okay and i i like to model only this part okay so that so basically the bad eye the chip plate and uh, the pin holes th those things we are going to model so now I, I would like to open my ANSYS modeler so you as you can see uh, here so this is this is this is the bad eye so which I have modeled to do that uh, so these are the models which I have such as models I have created for pin holes for the back plate, for the chip plate, for the main plate and uh, then what I did is I have generated the uh, the, the body of uh, the main plate and the chip plate and the back plate and uh, the pin holes and finally what I did is using the boolean command uh, I have subtracted this pinhole from the other part of solids and created this bad eye. So this is all about the modeling. If you have any uh, further query, you can uh, comment on my uploaded video and I will answer you back. So next thing is now when this is over, so what I like to do is I want to close it out. I want to go to answers and I like to open the model. So I want to open the model and the model, if you can see this, this is the model and I have applied a force. Now, as you know, the pad eye, the force is applied in this direction, almost in the, uh, have a maximum angle of 60 degrees with respect to the horizontal. So I have, what I did is I have uh, provided two uh, components, X component and Y component. And you can find out the direction is now almost, answers has calculated the direction accordingly. And I have applied uh, six supports at the uh, bottom. So this is the six support at the bottom. And then I, so this is about the force and the supports and this is finally the mesh. So when I have calculated the mesh, I like to tell you one thing that they are, first of all, I have used this relevance center as fine. And the, uh, okay, the most important thing is, and the sizing also, smoothing is high and angle is also fine and minimum age is there and also this is element size I have not used the default command I have used element sizes as 20 mm so you can find out this is a pretty good mesh which we have able to get it out and then when I have analyzed this so I have found the behavior of the bad eye is like this so this is about the total deformation of the uh, bad eye and this is about the equivalent stress and uh, this is all about the uh, shear stress values so 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 like that you can find it out that if you have all those stress regions now the plate design the weld design is you can do as per the answers so that's all for this and uh, if you have any queries you can definitely contact me